Shane Dawson just released his final conspiracy theory video from his series, and it was with Brittany Louise Taylor. But it has a lot of people asking, what are their true motives? Was Shane really just doing this to get more views and get more money? What is Brit Brittany Louise Taylor really doing? Is she just trying to peddle some more books, make some more money as well? Well, in this video, we're gonna figure that out. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. What I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I know a lot of you have heard already, but I've been an affiliate of BetterHelp for a long time now. I am now using their service. And today we're going to be talking about kind of our own thought processes and trust issues and things like that. It's actually something that I've been working on with my therapist. So if you're interested in checking out BetterHelp, go ahead and click the link down below. What it does is that it helps support the channel and you get some awesome affordable online therapy, all right? But anyways, I wanted to make this video questioning the motives of Shane Dawson and Brittany Louise Taylor because looking at various tweets and comments on my own videos and comments on their videos, everything, this seems to be like a topic that's really keeping people up at night, all right? So basically, for those of you who are like the five people who haven't watched the Shane Dawson uh, <laughs> series with his conspiracy theories, um, so Brenda Louise Taylor is an old friend of Shane Dawson. He brought her on. She basically fell in love with a guy and uh, had a baby with this man who eventually became uh, both emotionally as well as physically abusive. There's you know, signs of potential uh, human trafficking and things like that, which wasn't proven, but a lot of people think it's geared towards that way, but I'm not gonna touch on that. But anyways, I wanna talk about this because a subject that keeps coming up and it, it, it kind of, I, I guess it kind of surprises me, but it kind of doesn't, is that people are saying, oh, they're just trying to sell more books. They're just trying to get more views and sell more books because after the series or like after the premiere, Shane Dawson went on Twitter and you know, he was saying, hey, check out Brittany Louise Taylor's book, check out this, right? And something that I've noticed, especially in my own personal experience, which I'll touch on soon, is that people are questioning the motives, the intentions of Shane Dawson and Brittany Louise Taylor, right? Like, why did they do this? Did they just want views? Did they just want money? So like when I, when I made some of my last videos, I was talking about how like, I'm very glad that Shane and Brittany brought this subject to light. Maybe it made more people feel comfortable with talking about their own trauma, their own abusive relationships. Maybe it encouraged people to go get help. I think her book is a phenomenal thing. It takes a lot, a lot of strength and courage for somebody to come out and share their story so publicly and get so vulnerable in front of a large audience. It's something that I was talking with Illumation about, and I hope you guys all watch that video. Like, it bummed me out because Illumation and I, we're, we're friends now, and but even before that, I just felt awful for her. I'm like, oh my God, like people questioning this, people questioning you and saying these awful things, and Illy and I talked about, you know, how she's been handling it and dealing with her mental health. So something that I've dealt with for a very long time is that I'm always questioning people's intentions and motives, right? And I think part of it, some of it, might be because I didn't have good intentions, I didn't have good motives, and I, I kept a lot of people around who didn't either. People who hung out with me were only using me for something, either money, a place to stay, drugs, alcohol, back in my addiction days, all those things, but I surrounded myself with people as well who I could get something from, right? And this is kind of learned behavior, if you will, from people I saw in my life, like the adults that were around in my life, I kind of saw this kind of give and take, give and take, give and take type of deal. And that's what I thought, you know, friendships or relationships were, which is not a good thing. But also, you know, speaking with my therapist and going back through my past and everything, I developed a lot of trust issues, you know, with my mom because she was an alcoholic. Even though she's uh, sober 13 years now, some of that still, you know, lingers around. So whenever I'm watching something on YouTube even, I'm sitting there, I'm like, what's their motive? What's their intention? What do they want, right? Like something that really um, freaked me out was when I first got sober through 12 step programs was like people kept like giving me hugs and wanting to talk to me and hang out with me. They kept telling me to come back to meetings. I'm like, whoa, 
what do you want from me? And it's like, what could you want from me? I was a newly sober addict. The most I had was like three pairs of clothes, an oxygen tank, and like $10 to my entire name. Other than that, I was useless. So it didn't make sense why people wanted to befriend me, why these, you know, wanted to like, you know, have me around, right? But it all goes back to trust issues. Having trust issues and checking, or not even checking, questioning everybody's motives and intentions, that's like a defense mechanism. That's this wall that we put up. And we do that to, to try not to get hurt, right? And it's just interesting because a lot of people, you included, might be doing this constantly, questioning everything you see and why are they doing this? Oh, this person just wants money. This person just wants views. This is this, right? And and think about like, is that really a way that you wanna live? Is that how you wanna live your life? Like, I, I when I realized that I was doing that and questioning everybody's motives and intentions, like, it was draining. It is emotionally draining when we're questioning everything. Like, I've mentioned in the past, like, have a healthy anxiety, right? Don't just, I'm not telling anybody to believe everything they see all willy-nilly. Don't believe everybody has uh, the best intentions or best motives, but, like, for me, it's typically, innocent until proven guilty, right? Because everybody I used to interact with or even see online, they were all guilty until proven otherwise, right? They had to prove to me that they were a pure, genuine person, right? But now I choose to look at it in an optimistic way. The glass is half full, right? When I see Brittany Louise Taylor and Shane Dawson doing this, I see it as a way of good, right? They're creating awareness. They're talking about this. Millions upon millions upon millions of people have seen two friends have an honest dialogue about her abusive relationship, right? Like, isn't that a good thing? Isn't that what we're trying to do? But no, you gotta have people on the internet just come around and muck it all up and say, oh, she's just trying to sell books. Like, think about it. Like, at the end of the day, isn't her book getting out there a good thing? right, for people to read it, to be aware of these things. Like, some of the awful things that I've seen is like questioning her and is she a liar? And that's a whole different video about how brutal that is. You know, I even had a comment that said like, well, Shane, Shane should have interviewed Milos too. Like, I think the authorities did that, all right? <laughs> like, come on everybody. But anyways, um, one of the reasons I was talking with my therapist about this is because this is something that, that bugs me. So I've worked really hard, really, really hard for the last six and a half years to be just, you know, as moral as I can, as ethical as I can, to always check my motives, to make sure that what I'm doing is the right thing or it's trying to help or benefit others. And it it's something where like, I by making this video and talking about it and even talking with my beautiful girlfriend Tristan about it, like it's helped me have more empathy, right? Because I have people, I have detractors all the time coming here and saying, you know, leaving nasty comments or other creators making videos about me saying, I only want views, I only want, you know, money or whatever. And I sit there, I'm like, wow, right? Like, wow, they're they're questioning my motives and it, it, it can upset me because I've worked so hard to be a good person. But at the end of the day, I get it. I get it, I totally understand. I used to be those people. So now I have a more empathetic view towards them and understand where they're coming from because that's how I, I used to be. Heck, you know, like you should question, you know, all these things, but like, is it is it something that's consuming a lot of your emotional energy? Is it is it something that's keeping your walls up from other people, right? Is it something where you are neglecting yourself from potentially getting help because you're wondering about somebody else's motives? Like working in the drug and alcohol treatment center, like trust me, this ain't my first rodeo. I've, I've had so many clients just accuse like the staff members of only doing this for the money. And if any of you work in the mental health field, you know, you know that the money's not that great, <laughs> all right? But people question that. And I have to wonder if the people leaving those comments are someone who's been hurt, someone who's had their trust violated, and now they have this wall up, this barrier up. But I want you to look at it, right? But when we get down to it, it's actually kind of silly. It is kind of silly. So there's two alternatives, all right? This is a very black and white thing. There's, there's two alternatives here. Like on one hand, you know, we can sit there and just, you know, Hope for the best that Shane Dawson and Brittany Louise Taylor are trying to share a message of hope 
and inspire other people to go out and share their story of abusive relationships, we can hope that. Or on the other hand, we can assume that we're mind readers and we just automatically know what somebody's intentions and motives are with absolutely no evidence, right? Like think about that for a second. When you are questioning and, and assuming the worst in so many people and saying, oh, no, I know for a fact their motives aren't good, with no evidence or proof, like you are basically saying you're a mind reader. And if you are, girl, you better watch out because you're gonna be all over the news pretty soon because you are just a legitimate mind reader. But isn't that silly how we just think we assume we know everybody's thoughts and motives and all these other things? Like, come on everybody, like this is affecting our mental health. Think about how it's affecting the other aspects of your life. All right, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Do you have trust issues? Are you constantly questioning everybody's motives? And and answer this down in the in the comments below. Do you think that this is helpful or is it hurtful when it comes to your mental health? All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I will be posting the Patreon Q&A next week. And if you would like to get involved with the Patreon Q&A and other perks and stuff like that, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.